Hello fellow crafters. I'm going to share with you a collective haul. Okay. This is, um, <clears throat> well, since the last time I did a video. And I'll start with the, this one here. This is, um, Marshall's. I think it was Marshall's. Or, yeah, Marshall's. I got this for $9.99 for me to put my embellishments in and I love it. I originally went to Tuesday morning to get the Tim Holtz one and those were 20 a piece and this is more practical for me because I like to be able to see what's in my box. So I picked up this one. Isn't that cool? I love it. And then I got me a gumball machine. I'm so excited about this one. I can't wait <laughs> to alter this. I just got to figure out how to get this off. If anybody knows, please let me know. So I got that. <clears throat> so that's one of my projects in the making. And then Tuesday morning, I found these flowers. Sorry for the glare, but I thought they were beautiful. Petaloo flowers embellishments. The beautiful fall colors. Look at that one. It's almost like wood grain look to them. They're so pretty. So I got one of each of they, what they had and they were $1.99. This one I think looks like I got two of that one. Aren't they beautiful? So I got those. And then they had this one here. The Paint Stampin' Chalk and Ink Flowers. And there's a set of six. And I already gave one away to um Pat's Treasures, she won my giveaway, and these were 99 cents. And then also found some craft glossing bags for $1.99, and then Tim Holtz's uh, Christmas embellishments, so I got a couple of those. And then I got his uh, District Market um, cards, and I thought these would be perfect to... Um, make Father's Day cards or mail birthday cards with and just add stuff to them. So here's the one. Here's the other one. Let's see. There's that one. And then this one with the planes. Hope I'm in frame. I'm using my phone and I can't see where the camera's at. So I got that at Tuesday morning, and I think they were $6.99. Okay, this is my Goodwill find. Um, I already glued it together. It's um, going to be a stick pen holder. And I might alter it by painting it. I haven't decided yet, but that's going to be a project you'll be seeing pretty soon. And then I went to the antique store, and... I found this plate here, which I really like. It's so pretty. And it was really cheap. I think it was only a dollar. And does this take you back or what? I don't know. Can you see it? It's a 45 adapter. I don't know why, but I just had to have it. It took me back in time. And I just remember having those, you know, growing up for my 45s. So. I had to have that. And then look at this beautiful set. They had this uh, marked for $10, but it was on, um, the booth was 50% off. And it just says fine china. But I, of course, I'm going to glue it and then make a stick pin out of it. I'm doing a swap with Shirley Stark. She's one of my Secret Squirrel sisters. And we're doing a teacup stick pin holder type thing and I finally found my teacup so I got that ready for her and then my local scrapbook store I like to support them so I've got a few things from there I got this Tim Holtz ideology assemble clock that's what it looks like on the back so I'm looking forward to altering that and then I picked this paper pad up this is called swagger and it is by Nancy Rowe Janets. Never heard of that before, but I love this paper. Look at this. I'm going to make a Father's Day card with it. 
just love it. Oh, it's so pretty. Perfect for a mail card. Perfect patterns. Love the hats. Okay. So that's that. And then she had a sale um, for Scrapbook Weekend. And I picked up the Archival Ink and Red for five bucks. <clears throat> She carries the Petaloo flowers, so I got another one of these. And then also picked up the TikTok um, die. So I'm looking forward to using that altering. Then I've got a collection that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I've been wanting this. Um, my daughter sent me, she's so sweet, she <laughs> sent me $20 in a card. So I went to Hobby Lobby and picked me up this Koi Watercolor Colors. And as you can tell, I've already started using it. And it's got this little tray you move over to the side and it comes with this brush you fill up with water. And you mix your colors over here. So I had to play with it and see how it worked. And I love it. It's great for travel. And then I picked up this um, Graphic 45. They had these a couple months back, and they finally got them back in. So I grabbed them because they had them on sale, 40% off. All their stamps were. So I grabbed this Primo one. I'm not sure if I have this one or not. Oh, look at that. A little extra in there. But I like it that it has these letters. And then I got this one, it's uh, by Stamp Abilities, and it says, More than you need to care, more than you have to learn, more than you is required. And then this one says, Some people strengthen others just by being the kind of person they are. So I like that. And then after I got these two stamps, I found when I went to Joann's, that they are carrying new Sizzik dies. So I picked this one up. Um, let's see if I got something I can use for a background for it. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? So that's going to be great for my cards, you know, my images. I can um, color and put them inside. I just love that. And you can also put photos in it for scrapbooking. So I think that's really cool. So I picked that up. Of course, I got it on sale. And they also had their Sizzix die um, embossing folders on sale, and I picked up this one for me. I like that one. And they had the stamps on sale, and I've been wanting the um, Starbucks looking cup. And I, I love this one. It's a little smaller than I wanted, but this will work. Because I love how it's got the little tea bag and the coffee beans. It says, your kindness warms my heart. Thanks a latte. It says, thanks friend. Um, you're the perfect blend. Um, how you bean. That is so cool. And look at the three different cups with the steam coming out of them. I hope you can see that. I just love that stamp. Oh, so fun. And of course, they got washi tape in their dollar bin. So I picked up these two. Hope I'm in frame. There you go. And then I've been wanting, I don't know why I keep saying Ben. I have been wanting this Mixed Media Girls with Susie Blue. And it comes with the CD. And um, I really like her work. So she's got like a, a different style to her work. So I can't wait to go through this and, and maybe learn something. So I got that one. Then, Bona um, posted on her um, Facebook, I think it was Facebook, yeah, that she was selling these little kits, so I picked up one, and thank you, Bona. I don't know if you watch my videos, but she sent these um, envelopes. I love how she packaged it. Uh-oh, looks like Stapel got stuck in the envelope. She sent these handmade envelopes with music paper. Isn't that beautiful? And then, um, I think that was just to keep it from getting messed up. And then also, I got these doilies. And I think there's like ten in here. But there's... 
Aren't this, isn't it beautiful? Look at that. Hope oh, I'm in frame. Here we go. Seems like my camera's angled over here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So there must be 12 of those. And six of the little ones. And then this handmade flower. Isn't that beautiful? Look at how she layered that. That's gorgeous, Bona. Thank you so much. Love that. So I got that to play with. To make some flowers. And she got this cute little seam binding. It says thank you. Of course, I'll recycle. But I love her packaging. Look at this. It looks like a 12 by 12 that she mitered the corners. Let's see if I can show you that. See how she mitered the corners here? It's just beautiful. Such a nice job packaging. So I got that. And I've got a Michaels to share with you. Okay, let's move that up there. So I got this I, Tim Holtz Ideology paper pad for $7.99. And this has the resist on it so you can use your distress stains. And I really like this. I already have a pad of it, but I really like it so much I had to grab another one since they're clearance and I'm out. And then they had this one in clearance for $2.99. And this is really neat. I saw a tutorial over a year ago, I think it was, and they had used this to stamp onto crafts, crafts, um, card, ugh, craft paper, you know, like this color here, the brown. And um, use that to make these little envelopes. You know how they have the uh, vintage bags you use for putting gifts in? She showed this um, to make your own. So I thought that was really cool. I hadn't picked that up and been wanting to grab it. And Michaels is now carrying these little spell binders. And they're tiny. As you can see in my hand, they're not real big. But I love this one. It is so cute. This one is called Window 3. And you get three cuts with the die. And there's two of them in there. So I got that, and I picked up a couple canvases. This is the 8x8, and I got that one because I want to do that project that Miranda did on her Ustream. Hi, Miranda. And then I got this one. This is a 4x12. I want to use that for a Prima Doll stamp. Do a mixed media on it. And then check this out, girls. Ladies and gents, look, I'm an ATC person. I have been really getting into ATCs, and I'll show you a couple that I made in the end here. But they had all of these ATC um, packets for $0.49. Cents. They had the canvas paper, the watercolor, the um, artist, let's see, Strathmore. What this one's a 100-pound paper, so it's perfect for water um, mixed media. Oh, and I got this that was Clarence there as well. So I got that one. And then the acrylic paper for acrylics. Uh, canvas paper again. Stress more. And then this one here. Um, it says vellum surface. So I'm thinking this would be good for um, the alcohol inks or markers. So I can't wait to do some ATCs with those. Because I had never bought them. I always just cut my own up. And let me share with you. This is the last. The couple ATCs I made. Now I posted these on my Facebook. But I'll go ahead and share it with you. This says fly away with me. And this was some paper that I got in. a um, One of those magazines I pick up. And I drew the owl on and then colored it in using watercolor pencils and markers. There's a little bit of washi tape on here. And then I did the, did the back with some washi tape and filled it in. ATC 2013, May 5th, Kim Gillespie. So now you know my name. <laughs> and then this one is one of my favorites. And I just drew her face on, and it, the colors that you see in her face were in the paper and in her dress. So I just kind of used the colors in the paper as my inspiration and started drawing. 
The little bird on her head is from washi tape. I cut it out and glued it to her head. And then I drew some music notes on top. <clears throat> and it says, I carry you with me. That's all I could think of when I looked at the card. I mean, my ATC when I was making it. Um, so I just come up with um, wording as I go. It is no rhyme or reason to it. So here's my two ATCs that I've recently made. So thanks for watching and sorry for such a long delay in my videos. But I'm trying to get back into um, creating again. I kind of hit a slump. I was doing, I do the ATCs when I'm in a slump to try and inspire me to get back to crafting. So I think I'll be back. I, I think I'm ready. I got enough supplies here to play with. So hope you're having a great weekend and um, talk to you later. Ciao.